is that I think it's the only nation that has uh, experienced true democracy for 250 years. Yes. It has had its ups and downs. Um, my question, as I said, Iranians look up to it. Um, what, if Iranians want to copy what's in America, yeah. the democracy, why sh what should they copy and what should they not copy? Right. Well, as I said, I wouldn't copy America this minute because <laughs> the last 50 years we've drifted away from this noble ideal. Mm -hmm. This noble ideal says that faith has a central role in freedom, but it can't be forced. And what has been happening in the last 50 years is a secular faith has been forced. I mean, this is ironic, because we're not talking about Christian faith, a secular faith. People said, we're going to push Christianity out, and they use government to do the pushing. Right. So you really can have... Uh, 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 people that are, are drifting along over the decades and things are still pretty good, but they've lost their way. And so when, when people think about this, we always need examples. Let's take Europe today, right? Europeans, I am European, my mother's German, we have relatives there, we visit. My father's Greek, we have relatives there, we visit, I mean, often. And they are not as free as in America. Now they would say, well, we have democracy. It's not the same. They have allowed a secular idea to creep in, and the government, if you don't do the right thing on your own because of your faith or whatever, the government will find a way to force you to do the, these mm -hmm. things. So, so the taxes that they pay, the rules they have, the laws they have are much more oppressive than in America. Now, America is drifting in this direction, but, but not yet, and there are many Americans who understand this idea and they're fighting against it. But so if you say, well, we want a secular democracy like they have in France or whatever, you, you cannot imagine the difference between, because I know, I live in America and I go to Europe, the difference is dramatic. You don't feel that freedom in, in Europe because they have, a, they have in, in many ways, I mean, the European Union, their constitution is 100% secular. And you think, okay, so, what do all these countries have in common? What is Europe? Europe was hugely Christian. And they basically said, we, we don't want to have that. And so they made the classic mistake. They said, we know what it is to have forced religion in Europe. We don't want that. So we'll have no religion. And that's an equal mistake. Yes. So when you go there, you say, the, the government forces us to do this and this and this. There are all these little rules and things. And the question is, what does it matter if it's the mullahs or if it's uh, Angela Merkel's government? What is it, difference does it make? If you're not free, you're not free. And so you can be free um, in name only. So they're there. They don't feel free. Uh, but I really think that this is... I often say this, Hormuz, that people around the world outside of America have an incredible opportunity to do what America is itself forgetting. In other words, countries around the world can really do this. They can look at what I'm saying. I mean, I put the basics of it in my book, if you can keep it, but there are many other books where you, you say, this makes sense and this worked. And when they begin pushing God out, they're imposing a secular, you can call it theocracy in a way, yeah. an a-theocracy. And when you do that, you get a different kind of oppression. And so... This is the, the genius of the founders, to have a place for faith, knowing that this is fundamental, uh, to encourage faith, but not to make it an, an oppressive government-sponsored faith. And this is kind of the, the really, uh, the, the nuance of, of freedom, that if you don't do that exactly, you're going to drift in one direction or the other. And I get very excited when I think of countries like Iran even thinking about this. Yeah, I'm, I get nervous because people of Iran want democracy and they don't know exactly what it is. But the same thing happened <laughs> in the so-called Arab Spring. They said, okay, yeah. we're going to kill the dictator, <laughs> yeah. now we're free. You're not free. Now you have a power vacuum and some other force foot will come in, whether it's ISIS or whatever. You, you have to, to govern yourself, it's more than just getting rid of the guys you hate. You have to replace it with something that's going to keep out other people you hate. How can we keep it Right. free. And, you know, we can go through the list, but the, the, the so-called Arab Spring is the classic example. Yeah. Many naive people said, we're going to have, once you get rid of the dictator, Gaddafi, or whatever, we're going to have democracy. Right. No. 
No, it doesn't work that way. You have to have this, this system of this golden triangle of freedom as a bulwark against other forces c coming in. You, you, you have to have it. Yeah, uh, 